All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, hosted by yours truly, Redneck, coming at you from New York. And um, we're loving what we're doing here. And I think we have a phone call. So let's go to the phone and say, hello, who that? Hey, it's Jason McCoy of the Road Hammers. How you doing, man? No way. Jason McCoy of the Road Hammers. How am I doing? I ain't never had a bad day. I tell you what, Jason, thank you so <laughs> much for checking in, man. We are huge fans of yours. If you go and you look at our playlist, we do a trucking set. We dedicate that to the hard worker guys out there. And Road Hammers is a staple in there, you know. Um, so thank you so much for checking in with us. It's been a long time since we heard from the Road Hammers. Yeah, it's been a little while. We, uh, you know, we were actually getting at it just before this pandemic hit. And uh, so everything's put off, you know, better part of two years. But, um, you know, we don't put, we don't really put out a record like every, you know, few months. It seems like some artists do, I guess. I mean, we just don't have that much to say, but uh, we, we just have to wait till we, you know, have a collection of tunes that we really feel are, are something we really want to record. And, uh, and this EP was a little bit, bit of time coming, but uh, it feels good. Like our first single, the boys are back at it says, I mean, it, it kind of says exactly what we all feel. We want to get back at, back at living, back at doing what we do. Well, I, I don't know um, what you mean about, you know, album every week. And you all started, what, in 2004? And yeah. it's been, for people who are living under a rock who don't know who the Road Hammers are, this band is, um, they're Canadian royalty, Southern rock. Um, I don't know, you really don't have a category. It's just, I, I put you in my play loud list because your music is kind of like what I want to jam out to. So I guess, I don't know if Play Loud is, is a real genre or not, but that's where I put you. How would you describe the Road Hammers? Well, it's, uh, well, it's really three parts. Like, I'm the country guy, Clay's the rock guy, Chris, he's the blues guy, and you put it all together, and it's, it's just what we are. We're, we're just, um, you know, we always say it doesn't matter if you, you drive 10 wheels, you know, eight wheels, four wheels, two wheels, or a unicycle. If you got a, a restless spirit in your heart, you know, you're a Road Hammer, and and uh, we've all got that kind of that that feeling. We want to just crank it up and get away. And that's we just want to be the soundtrack to your to your road trip. Well, you are to mine. And you know, listen, man, I appreciate you. Let me mind my manners here, and you did the right thing. And uh, since you mentioned Clay and the guys, introduce them. Tell them you know about those guys. Any other shout out um, that you want to give? Yeah, for sure. Well, Clay, he's the rock guy. He comes from uh, northern Alberta, and um, and so he's. He's kind of got all that, you know, he's got all that rock energy, like in the live show, he's running all around and, um, he's just got that voice that, you know, just, it's just rock and roll top to bottom. And Chris, he's our, and he plays guitar and he's, he's, uh, he's one of our singers. And then Chris, he's on vocals as well. He plays bass and he comes from blues bands. He's played in blues bands all his life and different, he's got a real deep pocket steeped in some, some great Southern blues and, uh, toured all over North America and around the world playing playing uh all different blues and and country rock uh and then me i you know i'm 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 the country guy who grew up listening to uh the grand old opry and like all the straight you know right up the middle country music uh, to the outlaw stuff of whalen and willie and uh you put it all together and it just it just becomes road hammers i started out you know as a solo artist and um had great success doing that here in canada uh, I was male vocalist of the year a couple of times, and and I was coming off of a, an album called Sins, Lies, and Angels, and um, I was talking to a friend at CMT, and he said, well, "What are you going to do?" And I said, "I don't know. I, country music was changing at the time in '05, and I was like, I don't know, I don't know what I want to do." And he said, "I said, well, I want to make a like a little tribute record to truckers, kind of like a traveling Wilburys thing, you know, just put some friends together and do it." And and he said, "Well, let's." let's film the recording of that record. And so we did. And so when we released our first record, we had a, a TV series that went along with it, kind of the making of the band. And, um, you know, it was, we kind of held auditions for different players and stuff. And it just, it just worked out that, uh, Chris and Clay joined the band and it just, it just has a magic to it that went beyond one record. It's just, uh, it's been a lot of fun ever since. I tell you, it's, it, it's like the monkeys, you know, it, it, yeah. it, you know so um 
and, and, and that's no disrespect, by the way, because uh, those guys were talented. Oh, no, I and, get it. Yeah. And, 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 you know, they, they brought these talented artists together who never were, you know, who didn't know each other. And, and they made this phenomenal band that's endured. And, and that's what Jason McCoy and Clayton Bellamy and, and Chris Byrne, you know, that's the Road Hammers. And that's a great story. I never knew that's how y'all formed. I just, y'all sound so good. You're so fluid together. Um, it just sounds like y'all were just, you know, always together. Um, now this is, there's a new album coming out. You have a new single. The new album is not released yet. Let's tell people about that. Where are they going to find the music? What's to expect? You know, let's, uh, let's make sure that everybody out there knows where they can go and get this music. Yeah. Well, anywhere, uh, you know, you get your music from, uh, Apple to, you know, if you're streaming on Spotify, any, any place like that, of course, the roadhammers.com will have links to everything on our website, but, um, and then, of course, you know, you, YouTube and Vivo are our videos. Um, we've got a new video for The Boys Are Back At It, our first single out there. Um, we've got another video for our current single, uh, Giver. And uh, I don't know, do you guys say Giver in, in New York State? You guys aren't far off Canadian. Yeah, you know, I think everybody's Canadian uh, up from till you get to Pennsylvania, <laughs> till you get down to Pennsylvania. Um, so what's Giver? Right, right. So, so give us the Canadian uh, definition. Giver, uh, well, if you're stuck in the mud, right, and somebody's like, you know, if you got a friend out looking at your tires and he's like, okay, give her, you know, like hit the gas or, or uh, you know, just go for it really is what it's all about. Good. That's like a redneck giddy-up. Yeah, totally. It's giddy-up or it's a bit of yee-yee, oh, all like, that stuff. I like that. So I like yeah, this. man. Yeah, oh, man. It's, that's... it's a little like... A little northern yee so Are you taking us on the road now? I mean, you guys were, the, you know, you had the, I don't know if it's a, the pandemic hiccup or the break or whatever, you know. Um, are you taking us on the road? Are we going to be able to get to see you live? you coming to New York? Because I heard you just say that you're going to do a show in New York. That's what I heard. Yeah, well, we're, we're, uh, we want to. We're, we're working on that. we got those border issues at the moment, but it's coming. It's all coming together. We've been touring in Canada here. we had a couple of shows uh, out in Alberta. We've got some in Ontario coming up here. and uh, We're shooting three three more videos here in a week we, we're doing a whole whole bunch of them in one week so it's it's busy and then as soon as those borders open up you bet we're all over the place so um man last time we were on the road we were you know down in australia uh over in we were in france we got a show in spain ready to go so it just all it's all dependent on all the borders uh opening up and we're ready to rock man, i listen jason I, I i cannot tell you i am stumbling and stammering i'm i'm starstruck i i love your music <laughs> that's awesome. you guys yeah, are, thanks for spending the record oh li- i i just i don't know why you're slumming you're listening to the gumbo yaya yeah, yeah radio show man when you got your music out there on sirius xm and you're you're on itunes and spotify and and uh we would love to debut the next single off this album if you'll let us i know that you have a tight schedule and um you know, I don't know how much time we have, but would you do me a favor? Have you got another three minutes and six seconds? Yeah, man. All right. So would you be so kind? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give people a, a taste of uh, we're going to go ahead and play. The boys are back at it and I'm going to let you be right the DJ on. for a minute. So you're going to if you would just introduce yourself and the song, let people know that they're listening to the Gumbo Yaya radio show and um We'll give this a play for them. All right. Do you mind doing yeah, that? Man. Yeah. Yeah. And you are listening to the Gumbo Yeah Yeah radio show. It is the home of all good things. And uh, you got the road hammers right here. This is the boys are back at it. Crank it. Till the coast is clear But even lone wolves and stray dogs Can't stay gone for too long And you damn sure gonna know it When we come around here We ride steel horses Rolling with the outlaw crowd Drink all the whiskey Smoke all the smoke Like a long-haired band of desperados We find a little small town So much for kicking old habits. Look out, y'all, the boys are back.
Drink all the whiskey, smoke all the smoke like a long haired band of desperado. We find a little small town, turn it up and throw down. So much for kicking old habits. Look out, y'all, the boys are back. Oh, man. If y'all don't like that, y'all don't like music, I guarantee. That Road Hammers, the newest, latest release. Boys are back at it right here on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. And uh, ain't nobody got it better than me because we got Mr. Jason McCoy on the phone right here. Thank you, man, for joining us. I appreciate it. I love that. Man, thank you. Well, I didn't know oh, you was as pretty awesome. as that. I, watching that video, I didn't, I, you know. You guys look like uh, <laughs> you should be... You, you could be uh, outlaw bikers instead of uh, <laughs> outlaw truckers. We say we're, yeah, we, we have tattoos, but we're sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. Hey, it's uh, it's always a hoot. I love hearing that song on the radio, man. It's just so good. Thank you for spending it. Listen, I appreciate what you do. I appreciate what y'all do for for. Um, I know that uh, in talking with, with mutual friends and seeing some stuff that y'all, y'all don't just go out and tour and just, uh, like you actually y'all involved in some charities and you do beneficial work and stuff like that. And you know, you're reaching out to the communities, any of those causes, any of those kind of things you want to mention? Yeah, we do uh, a big one, uh, for, well, we've done uh, a lot of work with St. Jude's Children's Hospital and, uh, and also I uh, do another one for uh, ride for dad. It's a motorcycle ride for dad in support of uh, prostate cancer, raising the money and awareness for uh, for research. And, and so, you know, anytime you can combine the things you love with something that does good for the community, it's uh, it's pretty great. So um, it's it's a real treat for us to be able to do that. Well, y'all are to be commended for, for what you do as artists and, you know, I guess as humanitarians. So I know there's some, some things happening, you know, on the other coast away from you. And our thoughts and prayers go out to... Uh, go out to you know our fellow our canadian neighbors up there and uh so we well, want thanks, people man. to know and um one of the things that's near and dear to our hearts is um our first responders you know that you know the people that s- protect our countries and our communities and our nation and things like that and we always do a salute to service and uh i was just curious i was wondering if um if y'all have any uh any plans for for any of that kind of music or or um you know, I, I love everything that you do, and it just seems like you're always doing something for somebody. Um, yeah. Well, I I went over and toured uh, in uh, for the troops. Uh, I did uh, a bunch of shows in Afghanistan for the troops several years ago. That was uh, quite an eye opener. It was for the Canadian forces, uh, but you know, our our good neighbors to the south. I got to meet a lot of the service members there as well, and uh, you know, Germany and in all the nations that were there and supporting France. Um, so yeah, that's, that's been something that's near and dear to our hearts too. And, you know, we, we, uh, we've done a lot of shows on both sides of the border in support of, uh, in support of service members. So it's always, uh, gosh, when every time you travel around the world and you realize how great we have it in America, it's, uh, it's pretty humbling. So you want to make sure you can give back in any way you can. Cause a lot of the service members that deploy for six, eight, you know, nine months at a time. And, um, uh, you know that's that's quite a sacrifice, and then when they're in a conflict zone, you got to thank your lucky stars that you're able to you know wake up and do what you do every day. 
Yeah, that's true. And and people don't forget that like those people that are over there have husbands, wives, mothers, daughters, brothers, sons, sisters. So the the family is just making the same because the family every day is thinking my son is over here. My son is putting on that blue uniform and 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 and, and, and patrolling the streets of this neighborhood. My daughter is, you know, mm-hmm. rushing out in the middle of the night because somebody's having a heart attack and and she's got the EMT back, you know. So the families of our mm-hmm. first responders and our military are making, you know, that same sacrifice. So I really appreciate them, you know. Um, yeah, my and, wife, my wife's an ER nurse, so she's our superhero. Uh, yeah, there you go. God bless her. You thank her for what she does for our communities, you know. And uh, I, um, like one of my favorite songs by you is, is is I've got the scars to prove it. I love that song, you know. Um, yeah, man. That uh, what what oh oh man. You know, that's what happens when you have so much, you know. You got a lot of music in your brain. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I, I, I got a hiccup, you know. Um, what, what's the, call it a day. Call it a day. That's the one. I love that. You oh, know. call it a day. Yeah, yeah that is a great song, man. That's about a trucker just retiring. Yep. You know, he, wants to, he just can't wait to get home and, and get that white picket fence and just, yeah. you know, just call it a day. He gets to hang up the keys. You know, there comes that time. But, um, that you know, we, we started this band because uh and the kind of the trucking theme or the the road theme because uh when you're out there on a bus and you're in truck stops at you know two three a.m and you're eating at the same uh places as the men and women on the highway you know we're we're pretty much living the same life we're just the soundtrack to, to what they do but also realize that you know you, you don't have to drive an 18 wheeler like you can be you know delivering auto parts in town like i mean you're or if somebody just likes to get away on the weekends with a camaro you know with the top down like that's we're built. I'm glad we're you mentioned with, that. You know. I I have a '67 SS Camaro, and uh, that's like Come on, dude, that's really that. Yeah, that's people. the next. That's the next road hammer happen. video right there, man. I oh, guarantee yeah. it. So, that ladies and gentlemen, awesome. if you're Body if style. you have no idea who you're talking to, then then um, you 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 have no idea what music really is. We're talking to Mr. Jason McCoy, one of the, like the greatest voices in music today, and. Uh, Here's 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 why I'm like this is Christmas for me why I'm humbled y'all why I'm impressed because like Jason McCoy is part of group or duo of the year he's a rising star award he's got album of the year single of the year CMT video of the year Juno awards um, multiple like Canadian country music awards so. Um, him just saying, oh, we're just a band, you know, who, who want to do road music, is, is modesty <laughs> at its finest, man. You are truly, I mean, I, I, I cannot tell you, hauling ass, your love is a drug, like, um, all those songs, man. I listen to them man. all the time, all the time, you know. You're, you're re- everybody's done Eastbound and Down. Everybody's done it. Yeah. Y'all please stop doing it. It don't need to get done again because there's only one version <laughs> That's worth a damn, Jerry Reed. And if you can't get that, the only other version worth listening to is the Road Hammers. I don't care who you. I don't oh, care. Oh man, if, that means a lot. You know. And here's the cool thing, man. John Schneider, um, who's a fan of the show, who's a friend of the show. Uh, we have Bo Duke on, and he just released a, a movie called Stand on It, which is kind of like a parody homage to Smokey uh-huh. and the Bandit, and it's it is yeah. great, lovable fun. You know, Smoking Bandit was was not a great movie. People, you know, I loved it. You know, <laughs> but people people hated that movie. It, it was a budget movie, but it had some great characters. And, and you know what? And and John Schneider did that. You need to get a hold of John Schneider, and you need to go for for Duke Fest and and for Bo's big extravaganza. The Road Hammers and, and Bo Duke, man, I, they would have to shut down the state of Louisiana. It's funny you say that because my uh, sister in law, she's the biggest Bo Duke fan. She's got everything, like, she's got the General Lee, you know, bed spread. She's got the bath mat. She's got the the die cast. Toys. she got everything. And she goes to all the uh, Duke Fest. And uh, actually, we took her, we used to live in Nashville. We had a place right by the racetrack there. We went to a Duke Fest there. And uh, she's actually going to be going to, I think there's some sort of uh, reunion. And, and John Snyder's got this thing where you can buy a, a, a ride in the General Lee with him. So it's like that. That'd be perfect if we got to do if we got to do a movie with uh, with John Snyder. If she got to come with us to check it out, she would lose her mind. All right, let's see what we can do about that. But now, in let's the meantime, up, yeah, we have to <laughs> we have to chat. You got. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to. Hey, all right. So John, listen. If you want to talk 
to Jason. The number is, hang on, where to go? Uh, five, uh, 705. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put that you know out what? there. He doesn't have to look far to find me because I'm sure she's on his his Facebook page all the time. Uh, but he, it's uh, it's it's pretty awesome because as a kid, you know, I watched Dukes of Hazard all the time, and it was like, yeah, me too. It was like that's kind of the soundtrack of what we do, right? Like you could be yep. driving an eighteen wheeler or a General Lee, man. It's just all about it's all about that wrestle spirit. Yeah, he's a class act, man. He is. I like the the conversations yeah, that we yeah. had. He is a class act, and um, he, he you know he loves his country and the community. He gives back, and um, you know I grew up watching it and have an opportunity to have him on the show and chat with him w- was a blessing, you know. And uh, you know I grew yeah. up watching. So I always wanted to be a truck driver. We grew, we were going up and down I ten, stopping at Mobile, stopping in Foley, and you know Hamburger yeah. Hill, and and uh, hitting all the truck stops and. You know, my I got to live my dream for five years. I drove a truck for five years, and um, I okay. tell you what, driving a truck will 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 will, will break you a dreaming about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough go, man. That is a hard job. It is. I mean, it really is. The big thing is to deal with all the thinking in between the stops. Oh yeah, you know the the worst part is um is that you know there's something in 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 the human DNA that you you, you know you're just a knucklehead around a truck, you know. It's uh, it's the other driver. So, but you know, let's forget about that. Let's go back here. Road Hammers. When does this album drop? I believe it's August twenty, and uh, man, we couldn't be happier about it. It's just uh, this is an EP we started at the beginning of this whole pandemic, and um, you know, we it's been a minute since we've been able to get that out there on the road. But it uh, looks like things are opening up, and uh, like I said, can't wait to get south of the border, visit all our friends all through America, and. Uh, one of our first big shows that we ever did was uh, was in Louisville at Mid America Truck Show, and uh, we were down there for uh, you know, gosh, about a week playing different venues, and it was just a hoot, man. I mean, talk about you know playing to your crowd, and um, it just felt like we were home. And then uh, that from there, we got to do the Great American Truck Show and uh, Great American Truck Show in Texas, and uh, it's just been nonstop since. It's just been full on, and, and you know, we took a little break here a couple of years ago. Can't wait to get back at it. Well, we're glad the boys are back at it. It's uh, it's really exciting news, and, and I'm forgive me for being like you know, like like a, a a little kid on Christmas, but this is a huge honor to be talking to, talking to oh, you. Man. You know, I've been listening to your music for a long time, and um, I love it. My uh, my dad is a huge fan. You know, our fans are, are fans of yours, and uh, we couldn't. Like Gumbo Yaya wouldn't exist without artists like yourself. I mean, we really, oh, we really do appreciate what you do because they're not tuning in. They listen to Redneck and my and my, you know, buy you memoirs. They, you know, they they want to hear from you, the artist. And uh, you know, I want to make uh, hi, listen. Give me the the email address, the website information. I want to get a couple. I want to buy some albums from y'all, and I want to give it away to some listeners. You know, maybe a T-shirt or something. You tell us where we can go get some some Road Hammers merch, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it available to some lucky listeners. So, uh, how do we find it? Yeah, man. Uh, well, the Roadhammers dot com is where you want to go for all things. Uh, there's contact information on there for any any questions you have, but just the Roadhammers dot com. Uh, we got our merch, got our tour dates, have links to the videos, the new single, all that kind of jazz. And uh, like I said, the EP drops August 20th, and it's, uh, it's just going to be full on from there. And now the EP is the same as the uh, single that you just released. The boys are back at it? Yeah, it's called Back At It, and it's got, it's got a whole bunch of – it's got some pretty wild stuff on there, man. We've got, uh, of course, Giver, which is just – it's just adrenaline with chords, <laughs> and, uh, uh, which is fun. And then we've got a song called Hillbilly Disco I think people are going to dig. Uh, and then we got one, uh, and Giver, by the way, wrote with uh, another Canadian who's doing great is, uh, Tim Hicks. And, um, and then we've got another song called, uh, Stay Wild that we did as kind of a little duet with Tim. And, uh, I should also mention on Hillbilly Disco, uh, Megan Patrick, uh, joins us on that track too. So it's pretty cool. And then we got a, uh, song called All My Friends, which we have all sorts of different guests on the track. And it's, it's been a lot of fun making this record. You know, I don't know what I like more, your originals or your original take on covers. I, you, you guys are fantastic, and um, I, I'm real excited about this. We're gonna uh, definitely going to make sure that we get some, uh, some Road Hammers new release coming out. And if, there, if, you're, if you end up debuting another single, we'd be honored to, uh, to, in, to, to be the show to do it. 
And uh, right now, what we're going to do is um, we're going to make sure that everybody knows if you want to, this is the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. We're easy to find, Gumbo Not Yaya Radio Show. If you have request dedication, if you want to give a shout out or something to uh, honor a first responder, it, you can email us at redneckgumboyaya at gmail.com. Send, find us on Facebook. We're real easy to find. And um, we're going to make sure that uh, we get a couple albums, some CDs, maybe a T-shirt or whatever. And uh, we're going to share the Road Hammer Love. So, um, I've you know, That's taking awesome. up a lot of your time, man. I appreciate it. Um, well, oh, man. Thank you. And uh, make sure uh, when you guys, your tour dates are all up on your website. Yeah, it should be. It's, uh, you know, we're still kind of kind of crunched down here in Canada for some reason, but uh, when things get back up and open up, it's we're p- going to post all the dates that we got here, kind of all just ready to go, and when when we're allowed to, you know, but um, yeah, it's coming, man, it's, it's uh, everything's <laughs> just, we're sitting on go like a racehorse up here. All right, so what we're going to do is, um, we're going to, um, this interview is going to be posted on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitch, um, there'll be links on our Instagram, everything gumbo, yah yah radio show, so that y'all can uh, yeah. hear it, go out and find it. And um, we thank you so much, Mr. Jason McCoy of uh, the Road Hammers. Please tell Clay and Chris that um, we're sorry that we missed them, and uh, we appreciate you know their their contributions as well. Not to you know not to be forgotten and. Uh, if there's oh, yeah. anybody you want to give a shout out, now's the time to do it. Oh man! Well, first of all, you thank you so much for uh, taking the time today. Thanks for uh, spinning the records and really just just all the fans for coming out to shows. Because if it weren't for them, it'd just be a rehearsal. So they're the ones that make it a party, and and it uh, just means a lot when they come out and support. All right, man. All right, so we end our show um, in our interview like this. We like to say to hug your friends, kiss your family, thank the Lord. Y'all keep listening to the Road Hammers on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. Jason, thank you so uh, much, man. We love you. Man, back at you, bud. Appreciate it. All right. And uh, we'll holler at you. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason right. McCoy, the Road Hammers. Um, new, their new Back At It album is going to be dropping in uh, on the 20th. So make sure you get out there and get it.